Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at creating slideshows in iPhoto 11. So to create a slideshow, first you need to select some photos. You can select an event, you can select an album, or you can select several photos inside of one of those. Once you've selected it, like say this one here, you can just click the slideshow button at the bottom. When you first do this, it's going to come up with a themes chooser and you can choose various themes. Now the classic and Ken Burns themes are the simplest, but you can also choose some really interesting ones here uh, that use a certain amount of animation and you can kind of preview what they each look like. So let's create this one here called Scrapbook and you can also then select the music that you want. I'll just leave it at the default for now and some settings as well. Uh, for instance, how long to play each slide for or to have it just fit the length of the music, whether to show the title for the slide, that kind of thing. So we'll select some different things here and then when we're done we'll simply click play and it will play the slideshow. Another way to create a slideshow is to select some photos and then click on create at the bottom of iPhoto and then slideshow. And this will create the slideshow but save it to the left sidebar. So I can then use that slideshow, go through all the different slides and select the different things about them. Like for instance I can set the title here for the entire slideshow. I can also change the themes, music and settings for this and most importantly I can export from here. And I can select different video formats to export or choose custom export and then I can even choose just about anything here using uh, QuickTime Movie and options. So you have a lot of different things here and this is ideal for say if you want to email a slideshow to somebody. Also in this mode you can preview the slideshow as well as play it which will mean that it plays inside instead of actually going full screen. So one of the most interesting slideshows is the place of slideshow. I'll select the slideshow here and change its theme to places. And when I do that it's going to download maps. So each one of the photos in that event there has a location and it's a different location around the world. So what it's going to do is download a map for each one of those to use as part of the animation. And it can take a while. So once it's done it'll start playing the animation when you want and you can see that it's going to show you this globe with all the dots on the globe where the different photos are taken. And it'll then show you these kind of two and a half D views of the maps zooming in on the different places and the photos for each of those places. If you look at the completed slideshow you can see that it actually shows you the different text frames here. So you can actually change things. Like for instance I can select this and then change from Alaska to something else on there and then also on this frame as well. And I can go back to each of the photos by just double clicking on it and change different things about the photos including cropping and rotation. So you can do a lot of customization after the automatic slideshow has been created. So there's a look at slideshows in iPhoto 11. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more videos? Just go to the MacMost.com website, click on the videos link at the top and then you could browse all of the Mac, iPhone and iPad videos by category.